guys, I'm Josie. If you are new here, please don't forget to press that subscribe button. I have over 180 videos and I put out new videos every single week and I love doing requests. So if you guys have any requests on any makeup or beauty products, anything like that, leave it in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And yeah, so jumping right in, today we are doing a DIY of how to make your own peel off lip stain. I've seen a whole bunch of videos um, of like, uh, I think it's a Korean company, but they have um, a product where you put it on your lips and then you let it dry and then you peel it off. So it got me thinking to how we would do it like a DIY style. So I'm definitely not the first one to do this, but I'm going to try a way and see how good it works for me. So I did a mask a little bit ago. If you guys haven't seen that, I will link it in the um, description. It was a charcoal blackhead remover mask and it worked really, really, really good. So what you will need are some food coloring. I have the neon kinds. If this is, I feel like this would be the trick on if you really want a good stain. Um, and then I have just regular um, school glue. And then I have a mixing bowl. And then a lip brush of some sort to put it on with. I'm going to wipe off my lipstick and I'll be right back. So everything is off of my lips now. They are a little. They are a little dry as you guys can see, so I'd imagine that if your lips aren't as dry, it would work better. Take your glue and just put a little bit, just a little bit in your mixing container because remember, this is just going on your lips. You are going to mix some of the food coloring in and then I'm actually just gonna use a Q-tip just because I don't wanna have to keep washing my makeup brush just to mix the lip stain. You guys can see it. So it looks like that. And we are just going to put this on to our lips. Listen. It's been about 10 minutes and you can see that my lips are like starting to like stick together. These are the colors that I did for y'all. Um, I'm gonna start taking this off. I know I sound hilarious. Ha ha ha. Okay. Oh wow. Oh wow. Wow. Let's go to the top one to make sure or see if the top one is good. <laughs> I don't even believe this. It doesn't hurt. You can kind of hear it a little bit. Holy crap! It worked just like a lip stain. Like it looks just like a lip stain. Oh, that is really cool, guys. I gotta be completely honest with you. I did not think this was gonna work, but it worked so good! Wow. So this is what I have left. A horrible job at placing them on my arm. But I did two colors that, you know, are kind of like outgoing and not everyone would wear. But these three are very wearable. So much fun! Honestly, it's so much fun to peel it off. That would be really pretty. So these ones came out very natural and really close to like regular lip stains. So this is what I got. They kind of turned out to be like pastel-y color. Yeah, this is amazing. The only drawback that I see to this is don't lick your lips when you first put it on because I did and my tongue is red and my teeth are a little red from the food coloring. But it's not bad at all and you can just brush it off if you're done with the lip stain. Also, I just got this like shimmery kind of clear lip gloss from BH Cosmetics. This is called Angel Kiss. So that's what the lip stain looks like 
with a clear gloss on top of it. That is it for this DIY. Please let me know if you liked it in the comments below. I also have a Periscope, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. They're also at Beauty by Josie K. So I hope you'll go follow me over there. Oh please, please if you could give this video a share and a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial. I love you guys. Bye.